Hi everyone, we're going to find the exact solution for the equation by completing the square. The first thing we're going to do with this equation is rewrite it. Let's move this, uh, let's put it in standard form. We want it to look like this. So we have v squared, subtract uh, this 9v from both sides. So there's your standard form. In our case, our b is negative 9. And that's what we're going to use to complete the square, this b part. Um, and I'm going to rewrite this again and write this as v squared minus 9v plus, and what we're going to do is be putting this b divided by 2 squared here. And then I'm going to subtract the 18 from both sides and also write the b uh, divided by 2 squared there. So our b is negative 9. So we're going to write negative 9 divided by 2 squared on both sides of the equation. Because you can't add something to one side of the equation and not the other. So this is going to end up being v squared minus 9v plus 81 fourths equals uh, negative 18 plus 81 fourths. All right. So now I can condense my, this, we have a perfect square trinomial. I can condense it and write this as V minus, and you take half of that nine and square it. Now, um, to do the uh, right side, I need to multiply the 18 times four. So basically what you're doing is you want the same common denominator and what I'm going to do is take this, I want a 4 here, so I'm going to multiply this by 4. And that's going to give me negative 72 uh, plus 81 divided by 4. So that's going to give me 9 fourths. So I'm going to rewrite this now. So we have 9 fourths here, and let's rewrite this. We have V uh, minus 9 halves squared equals nine-fourths, I believe. Let me double check. Yes, my short-term memory is not very good. All right, now let's go ahead and solve for V because that's our goal. So now it's easy to solve because all you have to do is take the square root of both sides. Don't forget to put the plus and minus here. And you have V minus nine-halves equals uh, plus minus plus or minus square root of nine is three, square root of four is two. So now we have V equals plus or minus three halves, and we're gonna add nine halves to both sides. Let's so put the nine halves here. Now we're gonna definitely split this up. So we're gonna get V equals uh, three halves, plus 9 halves, and we also have V equals negative 3 halves plus 9 halves. So this one's going to give you uh, 12 halves. That gives you 6. So V equals 6 or, remember, plus or minus, that's what that means. Uh, negative 3 plus 9 is 6. And that's going to give you 6 halves, which equals 3. So we have V equals 6, or V equals 3. V equals 6, or V equals 3. And that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.